I'm very excited about this new series that we're doing together about the promises of God. In these hard economic times, in this uncertain season for our country and our world, in a world torn by war, strife, hatred, terrorism, fear, with unemployment on the rise and hope on the decrease, don't we need something sure, certain, true, hopeful, encouraging, helpful, practical, and right from the Word of God? Absolutely. So for weeks, we're going to take a promise a day. This is a website that you can email to your friends. Let your family members and co-workers know about this because every day, there will be a helpful, hopeful promise from God right to you and right to me. Here's the promise for today. It's found in Psalm 27 and it's verse 14. I will wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Patience is a virtue, it's hard to come by. Someone said tongue in cheek, I want patience and I want them now. Waiting for God is the ultimate expression of trusting in God. When the waiting gets long and the seasons keep passing and the answers to prayer aren't clear or the answers to prayer seem unapparent at all, Believing that God knows who you are, believing that God knows where you are, believing that the God who made you and loved you on the day you were born and loves you richly right now, believing that He has a plan for your life and clinging to that hope, clinging to that trust, clinging to that promise, that's not easy. So the Bible reminds us that God will be faithful. You say, Brad, I didn't hear a promise in that verse. Well, no, you didn't. Because that's the hardest part of the promise. If I'd have given you the promise first and then given you this hard part about be brave, be courageous, be patient, you'd have said, well, this is easy. But now you know for the promise to be yours, you have to be brave and courageous and patient. Now you're ready for the promise. And it's the verse before. Yes, I am confident. I will see the Lord's goodness while I am in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. We will see the Lord's goodness while we're in the land of the living. It's very interesting that that little phrase was added, while we're in the land of the living. Because very often Christians will say, oh yes, God's going to bless us in heaven. Oh yes, we're going to have God's promises revealed in heaven. Oh yes, God's going to work on our behalf and everything's going to be fine in heaven. As if God won't bless us now. As if God's goodness won't be seen in our life now. The promise is, you will see God's goodness in this life. But you have to be brave, and you have to be courageous, and you have to be patient. Trust in the Lord, friend. Don't waver. Wait as long as it takes, because when God's goodness shows up, it will have been worth the wait. Your bravery and courage will have been rewarded. Cling to the belief He loves you. Hold to the promise that He's good. Because that promise will change your life.